Did it? Yeah. Friends back up. That's what people were saying in the chat. Friends back up? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, just, it just makes like the closing the game easier for Kukui to vote potentially if he's got a night and he's, he's got good solid numbers at I think he has army next turn, has nine points. And he's got another seven spot. He's got two more seven spots in that area anyway. So he doesn't necessarily hold his army. No, he'd get five seven spots. So he needs a he needs a city or two. Uh, yeah, it's just Has the stream working okay now? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I've been broken with the call. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting uh, the chat active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, no, it's going. I mean, at least like, I'm streaming. I can see that. Yeah, right. Uh, she said it's working fine. It's behind it. It's behind it. It's behind the boat's compartments. Like, Is it? So, yeah. It says you need to refresh your page. That's just what I'm trying to do. It's like trying to add a row. I mean, it only needs to force him to support it. He's got a board. If he has a DP, I don't want to run a situation where he can buy it and buy it. I can hear you, so it's probably, it's probably a problem with my, my internet or something. Yeah, for some reason the the, the chat the, Yeah, the chat is saying they can't hear you very well, but as far as I can tell. Yeah, it, it's, it's working I can no. well, I, I really don't think it's it's you I think it's I think it's I just think it's probably something my end, Eric, but um,
Can you hear me, Bob? I can hear you. Can you hear me, Bob? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Let's we'll see if I can hear you now. Okay. All right, chat. Hopefully that's a bit better. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's oh, I sound like an actual yeah. person now. Yeah. Cool. Good. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. I. Uh, oh, it's too bad to chunk to put that extra road down. I mean, I think the table would love to see what tabloids development cards are and they made the bait feeding them uh feeding him that a road settle to plow him and they're trying everyone they, i think the table needs to sort of reveal where the the vps are at in some way i mean i think you gotta assume sushant has a vp there oh wow oh i could he could have boned him there i think he could have boned him I guess maybe the table didn't want to want to help him because Tavline now needs like he pro he may not get army. I guess he's trying to fight for army, but he's got three. He's colonized three places, three three locations on the board, so he can city the the ten. That's six points. If he's got without army, he needs four VPs. Like I don't know how he wins. But he needs army, I guess, and it seems like he's prepared to battle Quijibo on it, but. There may not be much time left. I think, you know, this Queen of Rose take row. I maybe he doesn't have a knight. I don't know. This is gonna be an interesting play here. The like, Queen of rolled two brick. It's three road and a knight, but he didn't play a knight, which is interesting. But he probably doesn't need the or maybe he didn't want to reveal it until after. All right, buys a dev. Interesting. So maybe he had a VP. Buys a buys a dev. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, Sushant. Oh man, is he gonna win? He might have it. <laughs> might. Yeah, I, I, I think Tavlon need to come come out and say like, listen, the game could be over if I don't take this eight. But Sushant might still be able to port a city anyways. But I think boning him on that eight or was a, would be probably good for the table. But I guess the consequence of that is, you know, Tavaline is at nine points potentially. But I think he needs a fourth settlement spot unless he gets army. And I think quidro has got army. I think Tavaline's stuck. Shall we just try and get some more points on the on the league table? Yeah, yeah. Buys a dev. Yeah, I, uh, I think it's just too little, too late for Shazzy. Like, just with these heavy Orbi cheap setups, I just don't love putting a lot of settlements down, and I usually try and angle it to go for army. But like, I think the army race is always open here. It was really no one kind of put their you know, put their flag and put the flag down instead yeah. of go for army. Yeah. Really, kind of, everyone was passive on it and wanted to get their infrastructure set up. But it, maybe I, I might be a bit more aggressive pulling development cards, and I think that's you know probably part and parcel with the way I play. And uh, I don't know. I think you know just with all the Shazzy's cards, I think they all you know funnel to development cards and to have to to be building. I mean, part part also what he pulled, but. Anyways, yeah. so Sean's got a bit of cards here. Can he close this out? Well, I'm assuming he can't, or else he would have done. Yeah, right. I mean, what's he thinking here? Is he debating a, a, a pulling? He's probably, he's got, yeah, he's probably debating pulling or settling we, or sitting. Or, we, we, or think, a, we think Tavoy has three. We think he has three. 
I'm really intrigued with Tavaline porting to burning a year of plenty to buy one. He only bought one development card with that. Okay, okay. So there's nine. So he has, Tavaline. it might be a mono. I wonder if he dealt as double mono and he's trying to figure out if he can get the ore to win this game. No, he just puts a safety ore down. So that clinches the road for him. Yeah, I think he, he believes he has another turn, but I might be... Uh, the thing is, is, there's not... I don't think there's a lot of... If he has a mono, there's not a lot of ore out there. Or maybe it is a knight, then... Yeah, I guess he probably don't play an aggressive knight, but Quijero could play it. If he has a knight, DP plays a knight, he's on nine. He's got an open settlement spot for ten. I think you've got to kind of go after him. If the four rules, it's not... I don't know. I, th I think the settlement spot's just easier for him to get the tenth point than a city, and the four is not overly high probability. I think you need to mm. maybe take that chance because Quito is going to rob 100% rob Sushant here. I think he needs to break up his hand. I think that's how I play that. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm debating, like, you know, respecting him what cards he has. I don't know. I think the table needs to try and break up Quijigo's hand. I think I don't mind playing and I, I, I don't mind an aggressive knight here. That's me. But if Tavaline is going to try and get army, then I think he might need to start attacking it. And maybe Quijigo didn't pick up a knight. Then Tavaline could be right there to pace it. Because without army, like how does like Tavaline? I don't think he has four VPs. No, maybe. But yes. if 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 Tavaline needs the if Tavaline needs the army, Sushan's gonna have won by then, isn't he? Yeah, know. he needs uh, army, so he's got it. I think he has to play a, a knight here if he has one. There's, I don't think there's any question. He's got to assume that he's got to take a chance that Quijo doesn't have a knight. He's got to slow Quijo go down, even though Sushan's you know on nine points, but. We don't know what if he's got a mono or we saw we saw it. so there's a mono that still hasn't been played and I mean and I think just knights and we're we're like not that many knights so it's pretty heavy in knights. There's you know I mean we've only had five knights played. Like I feel the rest of the deck is knights. I feel Tavline probably has three VPs. Quijigo, he may only have, he may have both knights. Okay, here we go. Because he knows he could wait to start playing him. Now he's going to play. Now he blocks the eight, 100%. Like, Tavlin needs army to win. Yeah, so where's he going to place the rubber? Yeah, good question. Oh, yeah. No, he's chosen a tree or I put... Here we go. Where's yeah? I mean, we need to see a knight from Quijero. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, procedurally, that's the right play. Steal from Sushant twice. I like that. I mean, I think you got to probably put a point on for. They rolled this that way. Yeah, so Tavon does it there. Quijero. Maybe he doesn't have a knight. Because if you play, if he was going to play nine, he'd, he'd want to put it on the eight or to finish with. Yeah, he wouldn't put it on the eight. He would, he would finish it on the eight. So I think he's kind of jammed. So he may have two VP, but then he may have a mono. Because why do I think that? 
I feel Tavon has three VPs. I guess we do, could have two. Maybe Shazzy has them. Uh, I'm trying to think with this other mono. I think it's either in Shaz in Tavaline or Quijibo's hands. I think Shazzy's got a VP. Yeah, Quidro definitely has two non knights. Tavaline had options to play knights earlier, but didn't. But I think he's got. Oh wow! Yeah, he could win the game next turn, potentially. The right numbers in army. Yeah, well, if he's got three VPs in army, then that's yeah, GG. He might have it in hand already. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Fortunate Quidro didn't, didn't take it get a get a knight on that last pull. Uh, Shazzy making a, a late game appearance for the for army maybe. Yeah, I, I mean, let's tap line pull the mono, which would be kind of not good for him. Uh, now, okay, now now we're seeing some aggressive play here. Not not, not too aggressive, but let's see. Uh, I mean, if tap line has a knight, it's probably game. Yeah. Hmm. Is there a VP pull here? Do you have it? No, it doesn't have it. Probably a knight. Everyone's got two <laughs> play two knights. Someone's gonna win this game doesn't make it. It's, it's, it doesn't go in another orbit. Right. So, is this game? It, this is just kind of crazy. Yep. Is that game? I don't know. No. No, wow. No. No, he's got a mono. <laughs> wow. He's sitting on a mono yeah. too. So that's interesting. Really interesting. I mean he like there's no chance he's got another knight, I I don't think, because I think he's got a mono because he had I think three down down cards and he didn't play a knight off him. So I think one's a mono. He's just trying to figure out how to get that tech one. That's probably why he wasn't that inclined. Like I don't know, I would have because he had to think figure Quidro has a good chance to get army before him. I probably sort of tried to take that eight that eight settlement spot away from Sushant. Uh I mean you have to go after Quidro here. Especially like, I mean he's holding your army, right? He's he's threatening your army. I guess they all could. He, he is. But uh, I, I, Sushan has a. Sushan with, with, with the right roles could. Sushan with the right roles could build a city and finish on his turn. So. Yeah, he could. There, he just got. He just got. He just got two like, ore. He's got two ore. He's got three wood. Uh, he's still got two more rolls, so he's definitely. Yeah. It's definitely possible. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think Tavaline's got got the mono. He's on nine points. I mean, the table might want to feed Quidro some development cards here. If they, they eight, I don't know. It's tough to say. I mean, Sushant's close to getting closer to a city. I mean, eleven would win it for Sushant, assuming he doesn't seven out. Buys a D. Shazzy rolls. Rolling the dice. What are we seeing here? Knight. Wow. Knight. Okay. Like he's got to go after Tavaline because he knows Tavaline doesn't have a knight. He's got to assume that. I think it's reasonably clear, but stranger things have happened. But then how does Shazzy get his 10th point? And a D. It just seems a little thin. I think Sushant. I think he blocked 11 because 11, Sushant wins with an 11 and Tavaline 
a good mono wheat to win, I think. He's got two ore. Hmm. No, I guess I guess he doesn't need uh so I think we'll be expecting a mono from Shad from Tavaline here. As soon as Shazzy can buy a, a development card, which he should be able to. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a close finish. Was it? Sorry, I thought there were two road building. Were was there's only one road building that played? I thought two. Maybe uh, I'm wrong. I can't remember. I can't remember. Jeez. Respect. No, I guess Quijavo. I thought he no. He didn't. He play a road building Quijavo to the eight. I know Shazzy played a road building to the five, six, twelve. Didn't Quijavo play a road building to yeah, the eight? Yeah, I thought. Yeah, poetry saying that they both played yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, that's so. Yeah, it's, it's been spinning my wheels there. So you know, it's so Tavline's on a mono. I'm almost certain he's on a mono. Well, Sushant's got Sushant's got a knight apparently. So. Yeah, that makes sense. He's got a chance to let's see. Tavline's got two VPs, Quijabo one or two. So there could be a knight, there could still be a VP there. If he's got Sushant's got a couple wood. Uh four. He's got three or four wood, two or and what, what has Charlie got? Has Charlie got three VPs? Uh, no, we think Tavline is a mono. Yeah, but what about Charlie? Could you go? Uh, he could, or he could have a knight. I mean, if he's got three VPs and Tavline's got two, then if he does, then that would be that could work too. I mean, it's possible. There could be. I think at best there's there's one VP in the deck. I think quijo has got at least one. I think Tavline's got two. No. I feel like Queen's going to have one chuck too. I think Tavline's got a mono and he's really debating it because he's know he's gonna lose army this turn if he doesn't play it. But he's he he loses army this turn. He's gotta try I don't think he can win the game with a mono. Oh no, no that's right, Sushant. So Sushant playing the knight. Uh, you don't want to bring Tavlin under though. I think you rob Quijibo here. So then you bring Tavlin under, then he doesn't. They have seven rules. Mm, like Tavlin. Yeah. Uh, Quijibo has a couple or. How does the or mono look? I mean, what can, I don't think there's much or. There, there's some wood. And that's what I think the table's a little aware of. Yeah, they're certain to, yeah, he's getting rid of the, yeah, so they're getting rid of, so he pulls, almost certainly got a knight. So Shushank has a knight, Shazzy doesn't have one. I mean, Shushank could win on his turn. So Tavline needs to get a, it needs to get a good number here. I think Sushant's just trying to burn his old wood. Uh, safety road in. Yeah, he just wants to get rid of wood. Yeah, that's, that's all that is. He's just trying to reduce the chance that the model wins the game yeah. here. Certainly appreciate the high quality of the game when you know players are counting the dev cards and yeah, knowing who's yeah. got one. It's a really good game. Playing around it too. I mean, the table isn't aware of that, and I think Tavline wins the game here. He's got one. Win. He's got one. This is his window to win. I don't think he. If he doesn't win the game this turn, yeah, they're just uh, for one cheap for three wood. He's just gonna burn it. Okay, yeah, they're just burning it. 
Yeah, so they, they basically neutered their hands and there's like nothing good to mono. And they know that Tavaline, I mean, 11 or 2 roll, I mean, he can maybe win, but maybe an 8 or th like, I don't think anything else can win it for him here. Maybe an 8. He may have, an, might be able to do something with an 8. Yeah, they're just burning the or the, the wood because they, they realize that there's risk out there that a, a, a wood mono can win the game. So they, they've counted his cards pretty much to a T. They, they know he's on two VPs in a mono. But I think, I feel like an 8 can win it. A 2 and 11 could win it for Tavaline because he monos that. And I think he's got enough to, to get, get, get his city down. Uh, all right, that's... Man, they're, they're aggressively burning <laughs> this wood. It's impressive. Everything they can do. Well, Eleven uh, to eight. Here we go. I uh, see. He doesn't have the good port, and I mean, he's got. We know he has two ore. Now he's got two, at least two, two sheep. I. Uh, Yeah, he's he's kind of stuck. I don't know if there's a mono to, to win it here. So he's trying to... So he's got three four now, because he doesn't do that. He would normally do that for wheat. It tells me... Oh, I guess he does. Maybe he does have it. Oh, he had, he had enough wood. Okay. I think that's GG. Oh, yeah. Flux is the mono. Good game. Yeah, wow. He had it. It's a very good game. I, I, I didn't realize he had it. Huh. Yeah, two. Yeah, I know a ten rolled. Sorry, it was a ten. I thought it was a ten. No, no. So he's trying to got he got an extra wood on a four. I think a four rolled, which is two wood. And he must have had another ten or something in there with the eight and was able to port. So yeah, great game. Well done. Do you want to join the players for a quick post game chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, they're on table because uh, game KFC game two. Yeah, okay, see you in there in a minute, Eric. I just don't know how I went here. There was just one knight left in the deck. So, hi, guys. It was a great game. Hey, Bob. Any thoughts from the winner? As the old folk saying goes, GG easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying it's yeah, he'd be a good it. game. Yeah, it was it was a really close game. We thought we thought well we thought Sushant was gonna yeah. take it at one point and then could you bet one yeah, point? That was well. a good game. Uh, yeah. Good balance. Oh, just needed a settlement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was conscious he needed a knight here. Yeah, I had a knight in hand. I would have won by next turn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, hey, that was a great game. I mean, yeah, it was pretty much that turn you're going to win the game, or I don't I feel you, you don't, it doesn't go past. I mean, yeah. That was the window of the win. That was the, the closing of the window for you. I mean, you got it. You got the job done, and you had the rules to not even play the mono. That's great. Yeah, I was count like for the last, for the last whole turn. Yeah. Five, six minutes, whatever. I was just writing down with my pencil on my table, like every card that's in game, so I can yeah. just mono yeah. whatever and city. Yeah. Up. Oh, yeah, but, well done. I mean, but they were doing yeah, like I mean, 20, 20 trades per minute, so it was really hard keeping up with what's on the table. Yeah, <laughs> well, they were burning, yeah, they were burning that or like that wood like crazy because they knew that was like your ticket to win. And was, the table played well in the, around the mono, they 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 shook it out. They, they figured out you had it, and you, you had. You know, you, that was so. overall well, well done though. I mean, I guess my my thoughts. I, I thought you would have tried to prioritize that port first versus maybe sitting up, and it, it seemed that seventy out of the end up seventy out, which is unfortunate. But uh, explain that thought process. Maybe just trying to get going city sitting versus but uh, mm. the the, port, the wood port. The thought process was actually pretty simple. Uh, 
I would have preferred to have cards over the second city, but uh, I had the wood court secured anyway. We made a deal before the game even started, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So I would have preferred the wood court for them, but I just happened to have the second city in hand, and otherwise I was stuck again, and I had already discarded yep. like two or three times. So yeah, I just I just did a thing instead of yeah. not doing a thing because nobody was trading me devs yeah. anyway at that point or brick so and i guess the, the other play i was looking at for you maybe because i didn't know if you were gonna get army or not but i so i, I thought you might try and uh, uh settle on the eight and take a settlement spot away from sushant was that on your on your radar to do or for the entire game yes I mean, yeah the entire game was on my radar but uh I only got the year of 90 pretty late, and uh, yeah. if I could have, I would have, basically, because I knew I needed to get army plus one, and the plus one would have been either a city or a settlement, and yeah. I would have much preferred getting the city, getting the settlement just to take his spot away. But yeah. I, once again, the reasoning simple, I couldn't. There was simply no cards, and I could feel there was no trades or cards to do with myself, so again, just did what I could. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's just unfortunate. You suffered out a lot. Uh, and the, How many times? I mean, the, the, the wheat didn't roll. I mean, the three was okay. Let's see the stats. 11 seemed to be pretty cool. It was, it made their game. Yeah, 11 and three. 11 once, three twice. Like, that's really, you know, win with army with, with when that's your wheat source. It's, it's tough. But I mean, the ultimate getting that port just made, made your life a lot easier. That's good. No, hey, overall, no, hey, yeah, great game. Everyone played well. It was really. You know, great to watch and commentate, and uh, a lot of good moves and you know a lot of high level play. Yeah, it was good. Great. Yeah, I agree. A lot of good trades. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, a lot of good trades going on. Great game. Good fun to join you, Eric. Thanks for thanks for commentating. Appreciate that. And uh, well done to the players. You all, all, that's no, even seven points with Shazzy. That's it's not a bad start for the season. Uh, getting at least seven points is, is good for the rest of the league. So, all right, thanks guys. I'm going to end the stream now. Um, and speak to you all soon. Yeah. Thanks. See you yeah. in the next one. Yep. Cheers. Bye. Good game. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, EB, for commentating. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Well, you're welcome.